Hey, Steve. Hi, CJ. Any uh, updates on Andre Iguodala? Uh, probable for tomorrow. Yeah, he's feeling a lot better. He practiced just now, so um, we're hopeful he'll, he'll play. So is there a some sort of a, a game or some sort of way to set up who gets to shoot the technical free throws? No, no. <laughs> because uh, Steph kind of put his planted his flag on that. The other yeah, night. yeah. And the coach has no say. So guys just, um, when you have multiple great foul shooters, it's sometimes it's just whoever gets there first, you know. But, um, yeah, they just, they got to work it out for themselves. What was the uh, general, after being up to, uh, what's the general tone like today when you guys go on the court? Well, you know, everybody's in a good mood, but um, we're also very uh, wary of um, being in a good mood, if that makes sense. You know, we, we, we have to be prepared for what's coming. You, you win the first two games at home, you feel great. Uh, and then all it takes is you know, one game and, and uh, the momentum changes and, uh, you know, the, the, the mood changes. So uh, we have to be uh, on edge, on guard tomorrow, uh, ready for their crowd, their energy, and um, for Denver to uh, really bring it and bring a ton of energy and maybe make some adjustments. We got to be, you know, ready for whatever they decide to change and, uh, and you know, get out there and get after it. Is there anything so far, it's only been a couple of games, but – that in the small lineup that has surprised you? Um, not really. I mean, it, it's we've only it's only been like eleven minutes, but um, both both stints were very successful, obviously. And um, you know, we'll we'll keep going back to that, and we'll you know we'll see how it goes. But it's a small sample size to this point. Uh, you talked about this a little after the game, but what did you what have you thought about Andrew Wiggins' uh, aggression and, and particularly his rebounding? And how do you hope to, that he can keep that up? Yeah, I think uh, Andrew has really adapted well to this series, uh, given um, you know our advantages, our disadvantages. He understands um, if we're going to play small like we have, um, he he's got a rebound. He has 17 boards through two games, so great sign there. And and. Um, we still need him to attack when when the attack is there. He's done that several times. Um, he's he shot it really efficiently. Uh, his defense has been solid, so uh, he's having a good series. And you know we're gonna we're gonna need him more and more as we go. How would you describe Andrew's demeanor during this series? Uh, Andrew's demeanor never changes. Uh, so he's you know very calm and matter of fact and uh, ready for whatever's next. With Draymond? With oh, with Wiggs. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, we, we, you know, we talk to guys all the time. And uh, I think the biggest thing was we had five days to prepare for this series. Like, uh, you know, all the teams that weren't in the play and had uh, had quite a bit of prep time. And, um, but for, for teams three through six, you knew who your opponent was. You know, one and two, it's a little different. You're not sure who you're going to play until a couple of days before. So uh, when you have that much time to prepare for an opponent, um, you can really lock in on each individual player's job and, and goals. And, and you can, you can have those conversations and cover a lot of bases. And so um, Wiggs is, Wiggs is locked in for sure. Uh, Steve, things, things got a little bit chippy the other night in a couple of spots. Um, through the years, anytime you guys in the playoffs have gone up 1-0 or even 2-0, the thing you always hear from the other team, the other coach and the players is, we got to come out and hit them in the mouth. Basically, we got to come out and be tougher and more physical and right. maybe even dirty if we have to. Uh, does that ever concern you or do you talk to your guys no, about not that? No, the, not the, uh, the dirty part. I, I think the playoffs are supposed to be chippy and, and competitive. And um, so we fully expect... Um, great competitiveness, great physicality from Denver tomorrow. And uh, they've got to do everything they can to, uh, to you know, change the, the tide in this series. So it's, I've always felt as a coach that, you know, the number one adjustment that you have to make um, 
is always a uh, a mental one rather than a strategic one. The first the first adjustment is always, you know, a mental, emotional, however you want to put it. Um, and then, you know, from there you start making strategic adjustments, lineup changes, whatever it is. But um, in the beginning of a series, early in a series, it's always you know play harder and and uh, you know try to try to get things turned around emotionally, and that's what what we're expecting tomorrow. Thoughts on any of the different lineup nicknames floating around out there? The different what? A uh, lineup nicknames floating around out there? Yeah, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you guys, can keep entertaining yourselves and <laughs> let me know what where you end up. <laughs> All right, got a couple on Zoom. Ron Kroichick, go ahead. Hi, Steve. Um, one more Wiggins question, if, if that's cool. Um, beyond this series, he's been very efficient shooting for the last several games, last several games of the regular season as well. Any difference in his shot selection? I mean, obviously he had such a strong first half to the season and then kind of struggled for a while in the second half. What What is sort of reinvigorated in these last two, three weeks? Um, well, I would argue that this is the, the guy we saw most of the season. Um, you know, and the one who struggled um, was the uh, exception, not the rule. So all I've seen is um, he's, uh, he's just sort of settled back into who, who he was for most of the year for us. He's, he's just locked in. He's, he's playing aggressively yet comfortably and um, doing his job and, and um, doing exactly what we need of him. So uh, there was nothing, no major change or talk or anything like that. I think most NBA players, if not all, go through uh, tough spells during the course of the season, um, just the way, the way it works. But the vast majority of the season, Wiggs has, has, has looked like, like he looks right now. Great. Let's go to uh, Maddie. Go ahead, Maddie. Hey, Steve. Um, just a quick question. What have you thought about Belisa and what he's brought the first two games, like off the bench? Uh, Belisa. Belisa. Yeah, he's been great. You know, he's so skilled. Um, anytime you have a big man who can play make and put the ball on the floor and, and knock down a three. It's a big advantage. You get to stretch the floor, and um, you, you you get to invert your offense and force the defense to have to cover more ground. Uh, opposing bigs, you know, have to to come out to the perimeter, or you have to change your matchups. You know, you see smaller guys on belly, and that puts bigger guys on other players, and that can that can cause some confusion too. So, belly is. Uh, a really important player for us um, schematically. And, and um, he's also a, a team favorite. The guys love him. Um, he's, he's got a great way about him. And he's, um, he's been really, really good these first two games. It's been fun watching him play. Great. And the uh, final one, Maria, go ahead. Hi, Steve. Hope you're well. You were just mentioning these two games. So how would you describe the way in which the team has played these first two games against Denver? I think um, I'm very pleased with the, the way the team has approached uh, the two games. You know, we may not shoot um, as well as we did uh, in game two, but uh, I know that we can execute as well. And that's the key. Uh, shots come, shots go. But um, if we can limit our turnovers and take away the easy baskets for Denver, like we have so far, then um, we'll, we've, we'll have a, a chance to win the game. But that can't waver. We can't uh, suddenly think, you know, we're in the clear and start getting crazy and throwing the ball around. We've got to be rock solid. Thank you.